we have one of our Jamaican sisters and shout out to Jamaica. Um, she's going to just really give the real about America and how it is in the area of working. Let's go ahead and roll that. You see, this message is for everybody at Jamaica who are killed themselves to come a foreign. Foreign nice, you know, me not lie. Foreign nice. There's a lot of opportunities here, but uh, one thing people not telling about foreign. And when time people do telling about foreign, and the things say them bad mind, and they don't want to come here and the whole shebang, shebang. So let me tell you about foreign. There are opportunities in America. Me not lie about that because things where we can attain in America in a small period of time probably will take somebody a lifetime in Jamaica to to reach those same achievements, right? But with America, enough to understand that this is a plantation. The society was built off of the same formula that they use to maintain the plantations. So when you're coming at the workforce in America and they tell you about the American dream and you did there try to catch the American dream, which is the house with the white picket fence, the husband, the two and a half kids, the good education and the big job, and all of these big cars and everything where you have to maintain. The catch is you're going to work till you're dead. Till you're literally dead. Turn over. Resurrect. Your sewer come back in our new body. And work again to pay off the American dream. Okay? So me I tell you now said the American dream is a fraud. You can come come get it if you want. But you're going to work till you're dead. You have people who in their 50s, 60s right now are work double shift, 16 hours a day, them are work. And then can sit down, pa, then can go to do go sit down and chill and laugh, laugh with them bridging like how you do a Jamaica pound a job. Then can show up later morning time, then can I go, then can have bad customer service, then can drink one beer pan them break. Then can do none of that. Them have to go to work and you literally walk. Some people only get one 30 minute break in a eight hour. When you're supposed to get 2.15 and a 30. And when you're eight hours done, your boss come and tell you, say, yo, you have to stay, you're mandated to work another eight hour shift. And because you have to pay for all of this American dream where you got trust from the bank, and you have all of these loans and debt, you have to stay there to work that other eight hour. Right? So, run come far in if you don't want, but me I tell you, say, be prepared for the truth. And the truth is, you don't go work till you're dead. And if you don't work till you're dead, you don't go almost dead. So here what you do. When you come a foreign, have a 10-year plan. You work, you work hard. You get every money where you can get. You send your money back a yard. Me don't want to hear about how Jamaica violent. Me don't want to hear about that. You buy a piece of land and you build one house. And you put on one car down there. And you cut. You know what that sister said is one of the most realest things ever coming from a person that is a black immigrant. She said that, oh, they tell you about this uh, phony American dream that you can get this house and the picket fence and, you know, the children and all of that. You say, but they don't tell you that you got to work like a freaking plantation slave and you work till you're dead. And that sister said that more than once because that sister see how it is. That sister know that she's been working, 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 and she has not made it yet. And that's been the story of a lot of folks. And even black immigrants now are starting to see that, yeah, you can get a little more in a short period of time, but at what cost? That you got to work, 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 work. Their system is set up where you stay working. Even the credit system. Yeah, they give you some credit for a car where you're paying payments. These payments, you're going to make you go to work. It's nothing you really buy up front in America. Now, you go to other countries, a lot of them, let's say, especially some African countries, they don't have a credit system. Now, I know... South Africa has mortgages and all of that, but most of them don't have the credit system going. So wherever you buy, you have to buy up front, right? But here, everything is in payments. Those payments gonna keep you going back to work. Trust me, everything works in, in, in a system like that with capitalism. Well, we keep them getting payments, we keep them working. If we keep them working, we keep them with money. If we overwork them too much, um, feed them bad food, they get sick. If they get sick, the pharmaceutical companies make money, hospitals make money. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we want to overindulge them with some sort of drug or whatever, even recreational. Let's go down and approve marijuana so they can not even focus on what we're doing to them. We just want to advertise getting high, getting drunk, going to the club, advertising uh, 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 
you know, just laying down with any old body so they don't pay attention to what we really doing to them, but we really working them to, to death every single day. And this sister is spot on with that. She's telling Jamaicans, you come over here, all you're going to do is work, 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 and work till you're dead. I'm glad this sister really said that because that's what's happening to people in this country. You're working till you're dead, and then when you, die, when you look up and you're about to die, you have nothing. You have nothing to show for all that work that you've done here in America. Now, the, the smart thing that sister talked about, and listen to all black immigrants, what I'm telling you, when she said that come here with a 10-year plan, work, send your money back to your homeland, be, buy you some land, build you a huge, nice house in, in your homeland, start you some businesses, and make sure the money is generating, the money is good, and then go back to your homeland. Maybe some of you can go back with a work from home job where you getting American dollars, but you're living good in your homeland, right? That's, that's an even better situation for you. You back in your country and you still getting the benefits of, of America, right? But that sister is so spot on that black immigrants don't get stuck here because you, because listen, you got an advantage to go back home. Us here, we don't really have that advantage. Unless we became a citizen of somewhere else, and some of us have. But a lot of people haven't. This system, it started as a plantation, and it still runs as a plantation. Now everybody's working. Because see, at one point in time, all the men had to work, the women stayed home. Well, the capitalists thought, you know what, let's get these women out of the house, taking care of their kids, and get these women in the workforce, because that's more workers. Oh, now you got the women working, you got the men working, who's taking care of the children? Oh, let's create another business called daycare. So they can, somebody else will take care of their kids so they can make these, have these women out here working. When these women should be at home taking care of their children. You understand? It's all about capitalism and making money for these people. And at the end, you don't benefit anything because daycare costs so much money a week. You bet you're only working to pay daycare some people. You see how no, you're not even making it? People can't even get an apartment nowadays half of the time because they want three times to rent, which is wrong. Because I remember back in the day, all you had to do is give a deposit and first month rent. If you had good credit, you had to pay no deposit. All that three times for rent crap is the reason why people can't, it's homeless. That should be illegal. They should pass a federal law against that. No three times to rent anything. You can pay the rent, you pay the rent. If you can't pay well, you know, you're not going to have a place anymore. What person that say like you, a waiter or waitress can go show on a check that you're making three times the rent. You'll never have a place to stay. This system is meant to keep people working. This system is not meant to have anybody thriving. If you can figure out the way to thrive in the system, great. But that's not the average person. As our Jamaican sister said, you will work until you are dead. That is the, 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 the sentence. For the majority of you in America, and I'm not talking about the black folks, I'm talking about everybody. You will work until you're dead. See, I saw that, that game a long time ago. I said, that's not going to be my lot in life. I'm not going to just work no 40, 50 years, retire, and wait to die. I'm not doing it. I got I to gotta take a different route. I got to do something else. I got to do something I feel that's worthwhile and has meaning. That I can just, you know, do, I don't know, I have to do something. And then, it, then the opportunity came for me to start doing something while I was working in the petrochemical industry. I said, let me start doing, you know, Hey, they got this, this, this thing called YouTube. Let me try that out. And I wasn't making no money on no, no social media. Now, now you look at it from, from today, we formed a company, you know, we have people that work with us, you know, we have different things we've been doing, traveling the world, of course, writing books, have our website. We got more things coming. Um, down the line, that'd be, that's going to be great. Y'all going to see to make bigger and better, you know, I mean, Hey, but what, but what if I did not think like that to say that got it? I can't do deal, deal with this. Having people, uneducated people telling you what to do. These uneducated, uh, folks, you know what I'm talking about? Your supervisor asking them, can I take a vacation to me? It, that's the most dehumanizing thing a person do have to go ask another man or woman. Cause they as grown people take a vacation. Well, I don't know if I'm going to prove your vacation or not. It's my vacation. That's my time. Well, I got to prove it. 
Cause I don't know if I want to approve your vacation this time. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying it, it, it's that, it's that sort of thing. So no, that, that just, sorry. I just, I could not have that be my whole lot in life. Entrepreneurship had to be my way or it was going to be no way whatsoever. But shout out to our sister for just telling the truth in America, you will work till you're dead. So brothers and sisters who come here or who are already here, send your money back home. And I'm not talking about, cause some of you send money back to your family all the time. You got to get out of that taking care of your family thing. Take care of yourself first. Take care of yourself, build your house, get your land, get everything that you need so you can return. Cause one thing about family, I'm gonna tell y'all something. If you, if you keep putting money in family's hand and don't teach them to go make their own money, then, then, then they, they gonna forever be in your back pocket. Stop doing that brothers and sisters. Stop. I understand that's, that's some of the culture for y'all, but no, listen to your brother here in America. No, I don't send no family members a bunch of money every month. They got to go get theirs just like I got to get mine. 